싶어 그렇게 사랑이 왔죠 아무 생각 없이 맘만 볼라요 강아지처럼 아니 고양이처럼 All right, welcome back to another K-pop lyrics breakdown. This is Suran and Crush's love story, a great collaboration. Um, you know I like Crush's songs. If you check my video page, I got like four or five breakdowns of like Crush's songs. So, um, to me, a lot of things he touches turn gold. So this is another one, great song. Suran's a great artist too, very unique voice. Um, but yeah, uh, great song, and also the lyrics are quite easy. It's just a simple story about you know a girl loving a guy and a guy loving a girl so nothing too complicated here um if you're a beginner it's, you're gonna learn some great new grammar rules like, you know with a catchy song and if you're intermediate you're gonna kind of review um some old things i guess okay but if you're an expert this song's gonna be quite easy for you so uh anyways check it out it's a fun song so let's start off with onna so onna by itself means like um which but if you combine it with na, which is day, on the na means like one day, like one day in the past. Okay. For example, you can I can say like oh one day um I ate a frog. On the na, keguri de mogosoyo. Okay. Um. So just one day in the past. Uyoni. Uyoni means um by chance or accidentally. Okay. And then nor is you. It's a combination of no and the direct object particle de. And then manatjo. So manada means to meet. This sang shield here is makes a past tense. And this jo is a contraction of ji and yo. Jio. Jio if say quickly is jo. So this whole sentence means uh one day I accidentally met you. Okay? And this jo, which is the same jo down here, I'll just say it right now, it's kind of it just adds a nuance. It's like an ending that uh kind of says like you know or don't you know? Okay, so uh, I met you one day, right? Okay, that's kind of what it means. And then bogoshipo, okay, poda means to look, and goshipo means I want to. So I want to see you. Okay, I wanted to see you, and like that, kuroke, sarang is love. E is the subject particle, so this must be a noun, right? Sarang, e watjo. So wat wada is a conjugated form of oda, which means to come. The sangshi makes a past tense, and the same thing. Okay. So I wanted to see you, and like that, love came to me. I fell in love with you. Um, amu is any, sengak is thoughts, opsi is like doesn't exist, like not there. So I don't have any thoughts, and no man, no is you, man is only, and poleo. Um, so the key verb here is poda. Poda means to see. So you can think of the sentence as I don't have any thoughts in my brain, I just want to see you. No man poleo. Um, Rureyo usually uh, at the end of a verb, it just means you wanna that you're suggesting. Do you wanna do that verb? For example, kada means to go. Kaleyo means let's should we go. So this is kind of a strange translation. If I said uh, only you, do you wanna see? Mm. So let's just say it. Uh, we'll focus on the poda here to look or to see. So I don't have any thoughts and I just wanna see you. Kangaji is puppy. Chorom is like. So like a puppy. Ani means nope. Koyangi chorom, like correcting herself. Koyangi is a kitten. Okay, so you know how puppies and kittens uh, look up to their owners, right? Okay, so let's keep moving on. Sorry, I passed by there. Let's go back a little bit. So here's Crush's part. Okay. He's saying, I just love you. Okay. And Maldo ande. So I'll break it down what it means literally and then what it kind of means together. So Mar means words. Do is even. So even words ande. Ande means won't do. So even words won't do. If you put it all together, it you can roughly translate it as I don't believe it or it's unbelievable. Okay. So I just want to love you. Actually, there's no want. So I just love you and it's unbelievable. Okay, maldo ande. Ne is my, and ma means heart. Okay, and this is the e subject particle. So my heart. Um, nor means you again. Uh, dugun dege, 
uh, means to thump or pump, like your heart is like jumping up and down, palpitating. And this hande here, pay attention to the spelling. It's not this day, okay? Um, uh, this nian de, when you put it after uh, a phrase, usually it means that's in quotations. And someone told me, okay? So no dugun dege. So for you, thump jumping. So you can kind of roughly translate this sentence as my um, my heart says that uh, it jumps for you. No dugun dege. Okay, my heart told me that it jumps for you. Okay, and then uh, here is a kind of more complex a Korean grammar form. So I'll try to uh, I'll try to explain it. But if you don't get it, don't worry. It's quite advanced. I rarely use it. I just know what it means. So, oldut maldut. The key verb here we look at is oda, which means to come. We've seen it already. Uh, this riudut maldut, if you put it together, it just means like barely. Okay? Or like barely anything. So, you barely you barely came. You almost came or you barely came. Okay? Uh, and to just break it down a little bit further, this you can actually use it by itself. It means um, like, and then whatever verb it is. So it's like you came, and maldut means it's like you didn't came. Because malda kind of means negative. You know, like haji mara, that means like don't do it, right? Or mokti uh, mara, uh, that means like don't need it. Okay. So if you combine riudut and maldut, it means like something that was done and um, and not done. So it's like almost. It's like barely. Okay. So you almost came, and iu do opso, and without reason. Iu is reason, do is even, and opso like doesn't exist. So, like you barely came, and there's no reason, but my heart says it jumps for you. Okay, and then this last part here is motero. Okay, motero just means anything. Dero means, dero means like um according to, according to something. So according to your mo, it's like it just means as as I please. Okay, me iu is every day. Nor is you, and anta means to hug or hold, and goshipo I want to. So this phrase, this sorry, this sentence here translates roughly to, I want to hold you every day, as much as I wish, as I please. Okay, well, let's keep moving on. All right, so here we have I want to be your star, shining star. And nuni pusho, this is a very common Korean phrase, and especially in songs. It just means like something is dazzling. Okay? And why did I translate this part? Because wa is um, o, kada and oda. Kada means to come, sorry, go, and oda means to come. They're often added after verbs. Um, it just shows like what direction that verb is going. Okay? So this dazzlingness, this brightness is coming towards you. Wayo. Okay? Nuni pusho wayo. And then na is I. I dero. Remember I told you dero means like according to you or this way. And I means this. Okay, so I this way or I like this. I dero. Uh, sumi motta. So su means breath and sumi motta means like can't breathe. And this u kokatayo has two meanings. It, it means um like this, whatever is in front of it, or I think this. Okay, for example, you can say, um, uh, I think it will be big. So, kuda means big. So, you can say, ku kokatayo. I think it will be big. But it can similarly also mean, uh, it looks like it's big. Ku kokatayo. Ku uh, kokatayo, so it can have two different meanings. I just think it's more like like. So, I can't breathe. So, I like this, like with your dazzlingness, I can't, it's like I can't breathe. Okay? So I translate more like like instead of think. But ulko katayo could also mean like think. Oh, and one more thing. Um, because it's real, it's future tense. <laughs> it's like I will not breathe. Okay, I guess. That's kind of um, the translation. Okay. Alright, I just heard I sesange. So I I just told you is this, and uh, sesang is world, and e is like location barcode. So this roughly translates to in this world, no wa na no is you, wa is and and na is I. So in this world, you and I, uri is us, 
and du is two, and bun is like only, and this is used like depends on the ending, okay? But uh, bun is used in conjunction with a couple different things at the end. But just remember, if you hear bun, usually it means um, like only. So du bun means like only two, and ida hedo. It's gonna be this is kind of a hard thing to break down. Ida hedo. Just remember, like um, hedo at the end of something is like even though. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll just translate ida means like this, the thing before it exists. So what this means is um, us two only, and this this concept of us two only exist, and even though. So if you translate into English, it's like even though it's just the two of us only. Um, panhakoya. So panhada. It means to fall in love, but this urkoya means like I will, so I will fall in love, and do means again, so I will fall in love with you again. So only there's two of us, I will fall in love with you again, okay? Assuming there's no other guys, I'll still only love you, and then real love story, and that's it. <laughs> All right, so let's finish off the song. Um, all day, we is why. Kibun is feeling. And this is the subject particle. Chon korka, so chotta means like good. So why are my feelings good? And this un makes it an adjective describing gor, which is actually a contracted form of ko, su. Okay, a little more intermediate stuff. But kot means like thing. So chon kot means a good thing. And then this is just a direct object particle and ga is just an ending it just means um the whole sentence is a question so uh basically you can translate as why am i feeling so good why do i feel so good okay nor is you again nor combined together is nor tutko shippo so tutta means to listen and go shippo is i want to so i want to listen to you and then um e uh e is this like iron ke is actually iron ke with the this neon uh part uh, sorry not it just makes it an adjective describing ge and ge is another way of saying go like I just said here sorry I'm about to burp <clears throat> there we go sorry so iron ge just means um like like this or this thing sarang is love and idam this is not a subject particle this is ida which means like is and then this is a neon describing go. Okay, ga, and then it's again like a question. So what this part means is, um, this thing, love, is it? So is this love? That's kind of how you translate into English. So I guess to review, um, you I want to hear, and is this thing? Sorry, um, this thing, love, is it? Is this thing love? Uh, two is do two. Sorry. <laughs> Dun dun is two eyes. <coughs> kok kam go. So kok is like tightly, and kam kam da means to close. So close t both my eyes tightly. Go is and. Ni, ni actually it's kind of pronounced ne, but you can say ni. Uh, your mom is heart, contracted form of ma um. And kajo kajo is a, uh, it's a uh, it means take. So kajo kada means to to take, and kajo oda means to bring. But kajo bolka, what is why is it kajo bolka? So kajo boda. When you add boda after a verb, it means like uh, try to do it. And this urka again is like a question. And so what this means is your heart. Should I try taking it? Okay. Should I take it? So should I close my eyes and try to take your heart? Do non kamko ni mam kajo bolka. And then here we have kangaji chorom, like a dog or like a puppy. Ani, koyangi chorom, like a kitten. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I hope you understand it. Ye, hamyon chokesoyo. Okay, and uh, another great song. Um, I hope you like what I do. If you enjoy my breakdowns or my uh, grammar explanations, please uh, like it, subscribe. You know, share with your buddies if they are studying Korean as well. And uh, 
yeah, any requests for good songs that I like. Some people have requested some songs, and I looked, I looked at it, and I'm not too crazy about those songs, so I'll, I'll apologize right now. I can't actually take every request because um, I'm already getting more than I can handle. But yep, do keep requesting, and uh, hope I'll get to your song soon. Tame uh, payo. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye bye.